Yo, 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 another day, another adventure with your homeboy Jermaine and getting this vlog started off. Another day in Gaborone. I finally found the downtown, the city center area, the area where there's like lots of tents and lots of people selling stuff, where there's like a mall, where there's this, where there's that. Anyway, yo, let's get this video started. Okay, here we have it here. I was actually looking for this yesterday. I was actually looking for this a couple days ago and I was uh, slightly unsuccessful, but that's totally fine because I found something else, which is pretty cool, pretty cool, yo. Need some wigs? Looks like this guy's making shoes here. All sorts of things going on. I mean, lots and lots of shoes around here. Look at this food, man. People lining up for this food right now. Look at that, got a big scoop. Zambia house. I wonder, is that like an embassy or something? Well, of course, you can get your hair done on the street. A five minute t shirt printing. That's pretty clever. Need some hair? Damn, that shirt right there is fresh, yo. All kinds of. African pieces, handmade in Botswana. Wow, this area is happening. Lots of spices here. Lots of spices here. Lots and lots of shoes. These look like, uh, these are like locally made. Belts. Let me fill you guys in just a little bit. So earlier this morning I woke up and I kind of had this idea of going to this part of the CBD area of Gaborone and that's exactly what I did. However, the Airbnb host came over and she actually gave me a ride like downtown. I went to the Basona Museum. However, the Basona Museum was closed. I really wanted to go to the Basona Museum. It opens tomorrow at 6 but I kind of have plans so I don't think I'm going to make it to the Botswana Museum, but that was something that I was gonna do. Also, another thing to point out, I think it's really, really amazing how I'm just like walking around and I like fit in, I blend in, like no one's staring at me. I don't feel like a tourist. I don't feel like I'm sticking out of the crowd. I just feel like a normal person and it's just really amazing. You know, I do run into a couple problems. Like whenever I talk, people are like, you know, it's just a little bit different. And I noticed that whenever I talk to people, I have to repeat myself a lot just because the, the difference between British English and American English. Um, yeah. Hot dogs. That's about 90 cents. It looks like we pretty much reached the end. But I'm still not done. There's more stuff to see. There's some like palace across the street, like in this area somewhere. Oh, wow, in the video I said palace. I meant to say parliament. Another thing that the Airbnb host did, when she dropped me off to the CBD area, she kind of drove me around in a circle. And she kind of like pointed out this and that, and this is that area you want to check out, and this is the museum, and here's a famous statue. And like she really, really helped me out. She gave me like a, a, a lot of direction. This was really, really awesome, really amazing. And I'm just walking around exploring. Better try to make it before the car is. Ah! And this kind of reminds me of Singapore. A little bit for some reason. And here we have a statue of the first president of Basona. And here you'll find the parliament of Botswana. Just right here. Now I think I'm gonna go look for some food. Food? Oh my gosh, I cannot wait till I get back to South Africa. You know, there's actually a couple of decent food options, but there's just not a lot of food options. Yeah, there's just not a lot of food options. And with it being very, very warm in the daytime, I'm not into cooking at all. <laughs> so, uh, also I went to the grocery store, I was looking for some chickpeas. I could not find chickpeas anywhere. 
I'm, I'm just kind of stuck. I'm, I'm confused, but I'm sure I'll find something to eat. Actually, I did find something to eat in this video. You guys know I always love to eat. We'll see what I find. I do have a backup plan. There is a really, really good restaurant that I've been going to quite a bit, but it's just nowhere near here. So if I don't find anything to eat, like pretty soon, later on, I'll just go back to that that place that I've been going to. But for now, let's uh, let's continue to explore. Getting to know the area now. When I arrived here, it was at night and I was dropped off here at this gas station. And across the street is another bus, bus terminal. I want to go check on a ticket to go to this next place. So it's just right across the street here. I'm going to go over and... Okay, so the next thing I want to point out, this is super, super random, but just traveling around like South Africa and Botswana and on a bus and you're like in the middle of nowhere and there's like, you know, little little tent shacks here and there's like, you know, someone under a palm tree selling something here and it just looks like you're in the middle of nowhere. It's just beautiful. And all of a sudden, you know what you see? You see a Shell gas station and it looks just like the same Shell gas station that you would see in the US or in the UK or in Australia. Like, it's just amazing. I'm in the middle of nowhere and bam, I just see something that reminds me of home so much. But yet when you go in the gas station, it doesn't have near as many products as you would find back home. But it just from the outside, it looks like identical random thing to throw out there. Check out the ticket, see how much the prices are. Good thing I did go by the bus station. For some reason, you cannot pay for the bus ticket. So I'm trying to get a bus ticket and I went there to just to see where the bus picks up from and just to get more information and I discovered that they don't accept credit cards like at the station and you cannot pay on the internet, which is um, kind of unusual. You cannot pay on the internet. Okay, okay. And also when I was there at the office, I discovered that they don't take credit cards and I just did not have 450 to give them. And it's about 45 US dollars and it's um, it's a pretty long bus ride actually. Not bad for 45 bucks. Next I'm at this restaurant and I order a pizza, no cheese, tomato sauce, onions, mushrooms, pineapples, and before the pizza arrive, you know, they come over and give me this bowl so you can wash your hands. And it reminds me of Asia because places in Asia do that. I've never really been to many places that give you the little bowl and you wash your hands. It's super cool, especially when you're eating finger foods. <laughs> All right, there's the U.S. Embassy right over there. I was walking through here and I saw lots of, um, like just a whole bunch of people standing outside like in security uniforms. Why do American embassies have to be so incredibly extra? Oh my gosh, like, this is so much security. Like, yeah, U.S. Embassy. And I said to myself, this must be the American Embassy. And, uh, yep, it's exactly what it is. And there's lots of signs that say no photography but it doesn't say anything about videography how they built this really nice walkway so you don't have to cross the street like the way i'm gonna cross the street because this way is so much easier to cross the street first just go up all those freaking steps and walk around i mean look how much easier this is crossing the street look at this it literally took 10 seconds versus walking up that thing and going all the way up there and then coming down this thing that's gonna take too long now from here i take a taxi i go about maybe eight kilometers and it cost me four us dollars not bad very very convenient and expensive good experience i would totally recommend it now a question i've seen in the comments that i want to point out is what about the nightlife and for the most part I haven't really seen too much nightlife around here. There's definitely bars and like restaurant type bars, but like clubs, like I haven't really like heard of any clubs around. I talked to like a handful of locals and what a lot of people do is they usually like just go to like a restaurant bar in the daytime and, and at night people are like hang out with their families and stuff 
or what they'll do is they'll like play pool at some of like these little places where like you can play pool on the side of the road and there's like a little tent area it almost looks like the car wash scenes from a couple of vlogs ago so people they just kind of do stuff differently around here everybody just don't like go out and rage now one thing about Gabaroni it's very very slow pace of life versus Joburg and Joburg oh man like it's Joburg is like a, a New York type city like there's a lot to do there's a ton of people there's a, a lot of crime there's a lot of action there's just a lot going on in Joburg and here in Gaborone it's it's a whole lot slower it's like super relaxed super chill you can sit back and let the time go by but in Joburg it's like yeah, you're gonna be doing something totally different. But anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up. I thought I would switch up this whole the vlogging thing. I thought I would like film and like throw some clips in randomly. If you guys like this whole way of vlogging, let me know. I'll probably do this in the future, just like here and there, like make vlogs sorta. Of. Like I'm just filming and then I come back and like just talk to the camera like this and then insert clips. I think it's kind of cool. I actually got this idea from another YouTuber. But anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and peace out, yo.